We're going to rush out to the West Coast now because Jessica Vassalero is there waiting at the Apple shareholder meeting. And the one question on everybody's mind is, where's my dividend? <laughs> Hi, Simon. Hi, hi, Jessica. So that so is the qu that's the question, right? Where's my dividend? Well, that's certainly a big question for the company. Um, you know, I'm not sure if it, to be honest, it will be on the agenda today. I mean, what shareholders are, are walking into over there, the, the annual meeting, the, the stuff on the agenda is uh, new proposals around uh, election of directors, disclosures around conflict of interest, political contributions. So that stuff we'll definitely be hearing about. Um, there, there's about a dozen sort of protesters milling about uh, who are talking about factory conditions, which has been a big topic in the news for the company. I think we could probably expect some questions on that. Uh, I guess we'll find out about the dividend question in about an hour or so as well. Yeah, and, and the dividend question, it's $100 um, billion basically on their balance sheet, and people want to know uh, when they can get some of that back. And sorry to interrupt well, you. Well, I was just going to say, I, I thought that uh, last month, didn't some Apple executives say that they were considering possibly paying out a dividend now, which would be a big change from what the company has done? What, what are um, you hearing, I don't Jessica? think they've gone that far. Okay. I mean, Tim Cook has said that, uh, you know, they're actively looking at uh, what to do with their cash that they're not religious about holding it. Um, and so that's been interpreted by a lot of investors as a sign they're willing to do something. Uh, we've reported um, from reporting that, that Tim and others have been open to things like dividends and buybacks, uh, but the company hasn't said much about it to date. Mm -hmm. now, now, Jessica, you, you've, you know Apple as well as anyone knows it as an outsider. Um, what is the mood there among the employees you, you, you're, you're seeing and talking to? This is post Steve Jobs. Is there anything changed? You know, it's interesting. I, I, there's uh, not much has changed, um, but I guess some small things have. So it's sort of a non-answer. But um, there, there is a lot of talk about doing things differently. Uh, Last week, uh, Apple had a big announcement around a new operating system, and instead of having a big event, um, they pre-briefed some reporters. They sort of have a different strategy around rolling that out. And I caught up with Phil Schiller earlier, who um, runs marketing for the company, and he thought that was very successful and was, and was glad that they were trying some new things on that front. Uh, there are little examples of that. Um, you know, the mood today is pretty official. Everyone's queuing in, going through security. Um, not not much in the way of tone so far. Of course, the meeting uh, is just starting right now. It'll be interesting to see if, if in their comments, sort of executives set a different tone. Uh, Jessica, it was expected that there would be some protesters there from different activist groups and consumer watchdog groups. Um, and a lot of this attention is on Apple right now because of uh, some of the perceived treatment of workers at supply chains in, in China. Um, what has been Apple's latest response to all of that attention that's been on the company? Yeah. Um, Apple's continued to say that it cares a lot about the issue, feels it has been proactive in identifying its sort of own rules for working with suppliers, um, and that they intend to do more. Um, that's sort of been a, a consistent refrain in recent years that the company's getting a little bit louder about. Um, they are doing things like um, start, they've opened some factories to outside audits by joining the Fair Labor Association in uh, recent months or recent weeks even. So. Um, it's, it's sort of, you know, more of the same with a little more attention on it. You know, the company, I think, genuinely believes that it cares about this issue and has taken a leadership role. Uh, the question is, you know, is that enough? Should they be doing more? What do shareholders want them to be doing? What do customers want them to be doing, if anything? So, um, you know, I, I don't think we're at the end of seeing this play out. Uh, Jessica, on that outside audit, that was a radical move um, for a manufacturing company. Um, is that still playing out as a, a good thing to have done uh, w with shareholders and with, with customers? I think so. I mean, I think people, you know, Apple was the first tech company to join the Fair Labor Association. Um, and, uh, you know, they've gotten recognition for that. Uh, you know, a lot of shareholders are activists, some of whom I've spoken with have said, we seem to have, oh, lost, we the to have lost the sound there on Jessica Vassalero. Well, that, that was Jessica Vassalero at the Apple shareholder event in California and Cupertino.